out there is not our mission field. If that's your mission field, then I have a problem with what's sitting in the room. Who's here if out there is the mission field, right? I've heard people say, well, those people do cocaine in the church bathrooms. Where do you want cocaine addicts to be? I prefer them in our church bathrooms versus down the road. Where do you want them to be? Where do y'all want alcoholics to be? Where do you want rapists and murderers to be? You want to, you know, well, they don't welcome here. Well, then Jesus wouldn't be a welcome there. If you can't accept the people in their darkest days, then who do you think you are? This is what Jesus calls us to be. If we don't welcome people in their deep, well, that's just a deeper sin. Are you God? Then you don't know the deepest sin because you've got them in your life. And for you to push people away that need Jesus, that's what the Bible says is the deepest sin. It's that's the one where Jesus says, tie the millstone around yourself and throw yourself into water. Why? Because you're pushing people away who need him because of your self-righteousness and your judgment. We got it jacked up, man. That ain't our mission field. I, oh, I mean, it gets at me. You're now entering your mission field. What is this? Heaven? Everybody in here is saved. Well, then we're insignificant Christians because you didn't bring your friends who aren't. I hate it, man. I hate that mindset. This should be our mission field. I hope y'all got people beside you. You got to hold your purse. Make sure they don't steal it when you go to the bathroom. What are we doing, man? What are we here for? We salt the salt. Well, Jesus said it ain't no good. Like we gotta, we gotta reach people. And if we're not here for people, then we haven't been broken enough to understand how we need Jesus. I never go after somebody because I feel like I'm their answer. I'm broken. I've got sins in my life that I struggle with. I, I gotta protect my eyes and my heart and what comes out of my mouth. I, I need Jesus' strength every day. I need his strength every day. I need his mercies. I need him renewed in my life every day. Who do I think I am? You get a bunch of people in a circle singing and saying, oh, Jesus, hallelujah, praise you, Lord, amen. Well, what are you, God's gift? Like, that's great, but if you don't recognize your brokenness in that circle, you'll never really see the other's brokenness outside of it. The most broken people are the ones who are gonna reach the broken people. I mean, I'll tell you when my, self-righteous, my self-righteousness left. When I pastored this church for four years and y'all had very little knowledge of me having suicidal depression, that's when my self-righteousness left. You know why? Because the most effective times in ministry I've experienced in my life is when I can relate to the people who are at their lowest places. Y'all need Jesus every day. And if you don't think you need him every day the same way a rapist or a murderer needs him, then you're not broken enough. Because his mercies are made new. And we have a degree of sin in our life that we feel like certain people need Jesus differently or more. You're dead wrong. Y'all feel me? Like, what are we doing, man? I pray that we have addicts and dealers and prostitutes in every service I pastor. What are we doing? I pray that we have addictions and marriages about to fall apart, divorced families. I pray that we have muggers and murderers And all of those white collar husbands that hide behind their Mercedes that are cheating on their wives, I pray that they're right here every Sunday or watching online. What are we doing? If you feel like you're too good for that, then this ain't your home because I'm gonna chase them till I die. I always say my passion is to, to reach the lost and to grow the found. And I'm trying to help y'all see, when Jesus said enough is enough, he's crying out for all the people that were being led astray by the Pharisees. He wasn't doing it because that's my homeboy, I'm gonna do my thing. No, he's saying, there's people that aren't seeing me because of your flowing robes that I've sent and your robes are keeping them away from me. Enough is enough.